One of our favorite movies is National Treasure. And this Mississippi Liberty Bell we just passed was also made by Pats and Stowe. You get a nice sound. Time to race. Oh God, no, that was terrible. Hi everyone, this weekend Race the Nation is in Jackson, Mississippi. Michael's here to run the Mississippi Blues Marathon. We honestly weren't sure quite what to expect. We, we certainly know that the city has had its struggles, but while we've been here so far, we've met the warmest people and we've had some really great food. Today we're on the Natchez Trace multi-use trail and behind me there's a 50 square mile reservoir that's managed by the National Park District. It's very picturesque. We're really enjoying it. We're looking forward to sampling some of the local food and just getting to know the city a little bit. So join us as we race the nation. We're here to have our first meal in Jackson, Mississippi, and it's going to be right here at the Broad Street Baking Company and Cafe. Get together and let the good time roll. Don't sit there mumbling, talking trap. Just had a great meal here at the Broad Street Cafe, uh, and of course I had to go for dessert, and they had what was called crack pie right here. Let's just say it's appropriately named. I should probably be having it after the race. No, actually I need a cog before the race, so. Actually, you should have it during the race. It's so good, it's crack by. One of the things a friend of ours who was born and raised here told us to do once we got to Jackson was visit this bookstore. And I have to say it hasn't disappointed. I got two really nice gifts for people. And if you like a good bookstore, come and look around in here. It's like a home from home, really charming. Wonderful place to visit. One of the places recommended to us in Jackson was the Mississippi Museum of Art. So we just got done in there. First of all, it has a beautiful art shop and I, I love a museum shop. There were some quite profound pieces, uh, very beautiful. One of the best parts was they had this whole student exhibit and just the creativity that you get from these uh, young kids, I mean, ages 14 to 18, just from the local high schools or even Mississippi School of Art, uh, just fantastic, accomplished artists. Yeah, so. mu like museum quality art. There were a couple of pieces I, I would have loved to buy. One of the nicest art museums we've been in in a while, so if you're in Jackson, seek it out.
a little surprise. <laughs> I'm not running the marathon. <laughs> Just joining me for... Uh, Keeping Mikey company for the first mile. Mile and a half. Do we get taking back? a detour for a pedicure. Don't tell anyone. <clears throat> Something wrong with this whole picture. <laughs> So this is the lead pack early on. Hi. Hi. Hey, so saw a fella here running with a Ukraine shirt. Very nice. Good to represent. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Washington, D.C., but I lived in Zaporozhye, Ukraine for a couple of years. All right, and so and, uh, what brought you out here to do this race? Um, I want to run a half marathon in every state, so this is um, kind of two, three-ish. I mean, I've done California, Washington, D.C., and now Mississippi. All right. So well, it's the beginning of my journey. <laughs> yeah, you got a ways to go, but you already got a, you started, so that's the key. Yeah. So, on a more sober note, we've just had that year anniversary, anniversary. That, of that uh, invasion of Ukraine. Yeah. So we all got to keep that in our memory and well, in our hearts. In, in our hearts. And prayers. And prayers, that's right. And so, and so, well, we'll... I appreciate you giving me a few moments. Thank you. Good luck on your Thank journey. Thank you so much. All right, Phil. Thanks for coming out, y'all. Today, I have Where a good... Where are you from? Where are you from? North Carolina here. North Carolina. This is capital. So this part of the course comes down and runs through uh, Jackson State University. Uh, it's always like running to uh, campuses. All right, just past, well, a little bit past mile three. Uh, my next person was willing to chat for a few minutes. So, Hi. what are you out here doing today? Man, for half a full. I had doing a half today. Half day. Well, last year I did the 10K, so I decided to bump it up. But, and embrace all these hills we're about to take on. <laughs> yeah, so. the, uh, what, the hills ahead of us? Oh, yes. Oh. It's gonna get worse. <laughs> See, I don't know. This my first time in Jackson, uh -oh. so, so you obviously done from Jackson? Yes, I'm from out of Brandon, Mississippi. Okay, all right, from Brandon, Mississippi. Yes, and uh, what got you into running? Oh man, I've been running since since I since about 12 years old. It shocks a lot of people at being 250. Got a big guy like to run, <laughs> but I love it. It's my getaway from the world. Clear your mind, just you'll get you. Uh, That's the beauty of it. Uh, listen, I relate. I relate 100 percent. Did you do uh, a lot of training for, the, oh, yeah. for this one? I did, did about six weeks worth of training. I did the marathon on the Gulf Coast, so I was already primed a little bit for this. So it helped me train a little easier. But nothing can be ready for these hills. Yeah. Man, it's hot today. Well, that is one thing. Uh, I have to tell you, that seems to be my fate. Anytime I run one, it's, yeah. it's warm. So, well, listen, enjoy, enjoy the rest of it. Try and enjoy the hills. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you have a good race, man. Yeah, and thanks for chatting. Oh, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. 16 coach law. <laughs> hey. Train arrive. 16 coach law. They got groups every two miles, not just water stations, but folks who uh, uh, are singing uh, bands. So it's pretty cool. And it's warm. All right, so just past mile four, but I saw a lot of folks with these jerseys, and, and there it is, the National Black Mar Marathons Association. And I'm lucky enough to even have one of the board members <laughs> here running with us. So, what? Well, tell me a little bit about this. So, my name is Anthony Tony Wilson. I'm a board member of the National Black Marathoners Association, which was co-founded by Anthony Tony Reed and Charlotte Foster. And um, it was started because there were a lot of us runners, distance runners, uh, doing seven continents, 50 states, you name it, uh, world marathon majors, and we didn't see a lot of ourselves there. So when we would see each other at a race, it would be a pleasant surprise. So uh, they started an organization, and lo and behold, they found uh, thousands of people just like them um, who were pursuing dreams of either a couch to a marathon 
or running a marathon on the continent and things like that. So we have a couple hundred runners here in Jackson, Mississippi for our annual summit. And it's a great opportunity for us to gather as a group, support each other in whatever distance we're going. Um, acknowledge every other year we have a gala where we acknowledge runners. But our most important mission is to offer college scholarships oh, wow. for runners wow. who are underprivileged, who need that extra support. And we do it for four years. And I think that's what speaks a lot about the commitment of our runners in developing running a healthy lifestyle, uh, not just through high school, uh, but for a lifelong commitment. Sure. Oh my, that's just uh, wonderful. So, so this is your annual one. Do you always come to Jackson? Or no, you... last year we were at the Flying Pig in Cincinnati, Ohio. We actually have a large group, the Avondale Running Club from Ohio, Cincinnati, here at this race. Yeah, I saw Next those. year we'll be at the <laughs> Oakland Marathon. Okay. And that's a gala year. We also have a documentary on um, Apple TV and YouTube, and uh, YouTube, um, uh, Prime, Amazon Prime Video, all the major streaming platforms. And it's an award-winning documentary about um, the first, Af the, the, the very first African American women to break three hours in the marathon. And it's pretty significant because of racial segregation. They weren't allowed to enter into races, uh, but some of them did. So they what, got in. What year was that? Uh, did, or do we have to? There's a couple of them. Okay. And they're all their stories are unique, um, and it's a story about not just civil rights, but uh, uh, women's rights, about the rights of runners just to take the streets and run. Uh, so it's a fabulous uh, documentary, award-winning. It's uh, check it out on Amazon Prime Video or Apple TV or all the other ones. Uh, this is my type of interview where I just say hello and then I can just shut up the rest of the time and worry about running. So that was wonderful. Oh, great. That is so, and uh, I will put links to all that. So thanks so much uh, for That's all that information. My and, pleasure. And, and also, you know, the, the organization. Uh, I, I did not know about it. I know a lot of people will never, so now we do. And yes, and we'll be at the Civil Rights Museum later this afternoon because beyond running, we're also about education um, and supporting the local community. So we're hitting up all the restaurants in Jackson. We're visiting museums. We're doing tours in the state capitol uh, because we really want to connect with the people here when we come to Summit. Okay, and now but the most important question, what's your favorite restaurant so far? <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> all right. Between all the barbecue, I like Saltine's Blue Plate menu. Been there for lunch every day. There so you. that's where I'm going with. <laughs> we went to Saltine's last night. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> all right, and I agree. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you. There they are. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, one of them, one of them isn't like the other. <laughs> All right, there are quite a few hills. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. And we're in a more residential neighborhood right near. A lot of it's been on more major roads, so. This is welcome. But there as I said, I'm breathing hard. Not quite at mile 10, but the hills on the back half are rough. Okay, coming up on about the, for me it's gonna be the, the halfway point. And this is also the course is shared by folks doing 5k and 10k and you're doing the what 10k 10k my first ever oh no kidding <laughs> no kidding <laughs> so what what motivated you to, to come out and do it my health yeah. I wanted to get better about my health so I've learned to jog and I've learned to walk and how long have you, have you been training for it I use 5k 2k 5 couch to 5k okay and I've been training myself with that and Nike run all right what would you tell what would you tell somebody who's thinking about getting out to do a, you know, to do a couch to 5K? It's possible. I thought it was impossible, but it's definitely possible. Well, listen, congratulations Thank on you. that. Thanks for giving me a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, there goes Eli. But here I am, and I, at the end of the first loop, I'll have to do the second. Boy, that food.
food smells good. I see everybody waiting in line to get their beer. The food. Oh boy. All right, halfway done. We'll get through this. Uh, another one of the colleges that you run by is Millsaps. I don't know what their nickname is, but um, Cavaliers taking a guess. Anyways, just more of the sights along the way here on Jackson. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hi. So we're on the back. We're just starting the big old uh, hills on the back, on the very back end of the loop, second loop. And I got somebody who, who was commiserating with me about how hard this course is. Yeah. Yes. How we're many? at mile 19. My watch shows 19.9. .9, so we're very close to 20. <laughs> From there, it's just going to be a 10k. Yeah, yeah uh, that's the way we break it down. Yes. So how many marathons have you done? This is number 57. Wow. And state number 32. Wow. And four of those were part of an Ironman. So if you can't stand alone marathons, yeah, it's like 53rd. I can't even count now. <laughs> so tired. I know. I saw we're on the back half. Yeah, and this is a tough course. It, and it's hilly. And as you can see, I'm in long sleeve because I hate tan lines <laughs> and I'm overheated. It's a hard day for me. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from originally from Iran. I lived in Chicago for 13 years. Now I've been living in California for about two years. Yeah. Wow, and how long have you been running then? Uh, my first marathon, 2011, in Cincinnati. So you've been doing a lot. You st you've done a lot in the last yes. 11 years. Yes, and it just slowed down because of COVID and the fact that I started Ironman training. Before that, it was a lot more. Hopefully, I can finish 50 states before I turn 50 in six years. That'd be a great, great <laughs> goal. Well, listen, thanks for a few minutes. Sure, thank you. Down to about a 5K. And while we're at it, a little trivia. Not trivia, just a, some interesting facts. Mississippi about some of the great writers here Tennessee Williams William Faulkner John Grisham and Eudora and I can't remember the last name but I had to get some water right now so water please Here we go. thank you so much welcome all right truly on a home stretch here mile 26 Take All some right. boys. All right. All right. Last round. Let's go. restaurant we went to four kind of well-known or recommended restaurants who is a broad street cafe saltine iron horse grill and char all four were super before the race we went to saltines uh, 
just got fish and a lot of potatoes. They used that as my pre-raised meal, but it was absolutely delicious. Then afterwards, uh, we went to Char. That hit the spot the most out of all four of them for us both. The last meal we had was right, was right behind me here at the Iron Horse Grill. I always look for a burger when I, after a race, and even though I didn't have one yesterday, I had it today. Uh, it was delicious. As you know, if you looked at any of our other videos, we always love to go to the museums. And here in Jackson, they've got two museums right next to each other. The Museum of Mississippi History, as well as the Mississippi Civil Rights Museum. Uh, unfortunately, we only had time to go into one of them, uh, but we went into the Civil Rights Museum. And I've just got to say, it's one of the best done museums. Just the way they have it set up, the displays, it is so engaging. For me, very eye-opening, almost a bit depressing uh, because of the, you know, the darkness of the history of the civil rights. But if you've got to look at the positive side of how many folks just, despite everything that was against them, and they, and they kept the faith and progress they made over the years. Uh, so it, it's just one of the best museums I've ever been into. So if you come to Jackson, it's just got to be stop number one. All right, Mississippi Blues Marathon. It's in the books. This was a, a, a nice surprise for us. Um, we had never been to Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, the course, you get a nice little run out to Jackson State University. Uh, then you come on back and then you run out another out and back loop. So you get a nice little uh, view, a uh, tour of, of downtown Jackson. It's a double loop, which I don't mind double loops especially when it's an area I don't know. For me, it kind of makes the second half go a little bit quicker because you know there's certain areas, landmarks that you remember as you go through it. Quite a bit of road running, to be honest, uh, with traffic. A bit more road running than I prefer for a city marathon. You know, that, that's what you are generally going to get. As a marathoner, you get this long sleeve running jacket. Fits me great, which I'm a funny shape. And so a lot of times I don't, but this one sure did. Uh, and here's the medal. This is the same medal that you get uh, no matter what race you do. And um, you know, it all comes in one of your reusable uh, bags. We've had a, a great time. Like every city, there's always a surprise. Some of the really nice architecture. Certainly a, a beautiful building right behind us here, uh, the state capitol. And the whole event takes place just on the other side of the state capitol. You cross the street and there's a big green down on the back side and that's where they have the start and finish in the same spot uh, the after party it, it was a tough run for me this time with because it's as warm as it was but uh, uh, and the course but it's a hard course but it's still a, it's a fun place to to come and visit uh, and so we're glad we did